Hey Lisa, guess what I've been diving into today? Python sets. They're like the secret agents of data structures. Super useful, but sometimes overlooked. Sets, huh? I remember them from math class, like Venn diagrams and all that. But how do they work in Python? Exactly. Python sets are pretty similar. Think of them as collections of unique, unordered items. Let's start with their uniqueness and unordered nature. Imagine you're collecting rare trading cards. You wouldn't want two identical cards, right? Sets are like that. They automatically get rid of duplicates. Oh, that's handy. So if I add the same item twice, it just keeps one? Precisely. Check out this example. Wow. It just prints one, two, three, four. That's so clean. Right? And about being unordered, it means the elements don't have a specific position or index. Unlike lists, you can't say, give me the item at index zero. The order might even change each time you run the code, though for small sets, it often appears consistent. So no peeking at specific spots, just a big bag of unique stuff? You got it, Lisa. This characteristic is actually what makes them super efficient for certain operations like fast membership testing. This is where sets really shine. Let's say you have a massive list of email addresses and you want to quickly check if a specific email is in there. If you use the list, Python would have to go through each email one by one until it finds a match. But with a set, it's almost instantaneous. So it's like a bouncer at a club, instantly knowing if someone's on the VIP list? Perfect analogy. Because of how sets are structured internally, they use something called a hash table, checking if an item exists is incredibly fast, even with millions of items. Show me the magic. All right, here's a little demo. That in keyword is so intuitive, and it's so quick. I can see how this would be amazing for deduplicating data or checking for unique items in large data sets. Exactly. Think about user IDs, product codes, or even words in a document. Sets are your go-to for ensuring uniqueness and lightning fast lookups. They're also fantastic for performing mathematical set operations like unions, intersections, and differences. This is way cooler than I thought. So to recap, sets are like magical bags that only hold one of each item, and they can tell you super fast if something's inside? You got it, Lisa. You're officially a Python set whisperer. What do you think you'll use sets for in your next project?